<laughs> I had to do part two. Sorry, that that little repair took a little, a little bit longer than what I thought it was going to take. Goodness gracious. I mean, how long does it take to work on an oven? I guess a while. So anyway, this will probably be a little bit of a shorter live. This is part two because I was doing my live and got ever so slightly interrupted. Maybe this might be a nice place to sit. Mm, smells good. Oh, I forgot about these flowers. Look at these. Oh, they're kind of dead now. Well, they're not dead. They're just a little destroyed from the high winds we've had. Pretty. I'm going to have to come back and take pictures of those. So anyway, as I was saying, with spirit guides, ooh, this isn't very comfortable because I have a back fracture. Anyway, as I was saying with spirit guides, when they come to you or you ask them questions, angels, y'all know how to do that, right? I hope you just, <laughs> hi, hope y'all are doing good. I'm still getting on that subject about spirit guides. That chair is not going to work for me. It's, it's too uncomfortable <laughs> on my back. So anyway, I don't want to drop my water. So when we talk about spirit guides and your angels, you just have to have like a quiet mind. Um, you have to have like a quiet mind. You can't be distracted. You know, you want to take deep breaths in and you want to do navel breathing because a lot of people just do lung breathing. You know, I hope y'all know the difference with the navel breathing and y'all, that the lung because navel breathing is when you're breathing out, you know, breathing in and you're breathing into your belly you know um, when I was a kid me and my girlfriend used to blow our bellies up it was so funny we would blow our bellies up <laughs> um, so that's definitely navel breathing and of course a lot of people use the um, the uh, oh my god regular lungs you know so you're not getting that deep breathing so um, just take some deep breaths navel breathing navel breathing navel yeah navel breathing and then you know you kind of ask your spirit guides to to show you what you want to be shown and it may not be right away they may not show it to you right then and there you know um but they will show you um so some of the things that was shown to me hello i wasn't expecting it <laughs> um it kind of caught me off guard because it took it took about a day and then things started coming, and I was like, oh, my God. And then, of course, the lady at the place that I went to was just, that was just, like, bizarre to me. Um, particularly since, number one, I haven't seen her since then. Uh, number two, I've never seen her a day in my life. Um, I don't know who she was. And my friend was like, well, maybe it was a spirit that came to you. Um, thank you. Uh, that came to you and she had that message for you, which it was bizarre because everything happened all in one day. You know, I get this lady that I've never seen before tell me that the devil's trying to get me, which, and she was so straight faced. It was almost like in a horror movie, but she wasn't, it wasn't a horror thing, but it was like in a movie. And, uh, then stuff happened that particular evening. That was just heartbreaking and devastating. And that, side came out because it's really funny with people when you know people always say you're such a spiritual person that shouldn't happen or you shouldn't react that way and I'm like I am a human being just like anybody else is you know I mean I have my days where I'm okay and I have some days where I'm not okay you know I have some days where you know, I'm a happy-go-lucky person, and then I'll have some days where I'll turn around and flip your ass off in a second. So I have those days, you know, and um, like I told my mom the other day, because when I did that Facebook Live, she was watching the Facebook Live from the 360. And um, <laughs> she was watching that Facebook Live from the 360, and she was like, you are not supposed to say words like that. You're so spiritual. And I was like, yeah, well, the fuck word does come out. The F word does come out every so often there, 
you know, and she's like, I didn't raise you to talk that way, and I know she didn't raise me to talk that way, but like I told her, I'm not perfect, you know, like I said, I, I, um, a spiritual journey is something that you're going on every day, doesn't mean that you're not going to have a day where you're upset, it doesn't mean that you're not going to have a day where you're to decline his um telephone call i you know i don't know i i think sometimes in past life there was some gypsy there you know um the lady that was that was outside on the bench no nope she just looked like a regular like a regular human being although she did have a wrap on her head she did have a wrap you know but um it just, it, it was just the look. It was her, she just looked at me. It, I mean, our eyes just locked when she said it. But like I said, that day unfolded a bunch of thing, different things anyway. So I can, you know how you look back at something that happened. I kind of look back at that and I'm like, yeah, that did bring a very ugly side out in me because it takes a lot. It takes a lot for somebody to bring that side out in me um a lot you know people that know me on a personal level know that i'm um su i'm a super sensitive person you know and so if you've upset me you know it's yeah t yeah exactly like looking right through you if you've upset me then you've really upset me um and i guess i'm a typical libra in a way i will process stuff or I'm the type of person I'll process whatever happened and then I have to let it go because it messes up my spiritual journey and then I look back and I you know you just think about different stuff when you're dealing with people in situations and um you know I don't know but yeah with the lady it was like she was looking right through me it's like she could see something and that's not that's not the first time I had that happen I had a lady grab my hands one time you know, and told me that I had an ability to, to, um, to be a healer, to heal people. I did have a palm reader do that one time, and I didn't know her from Adam, and she didn't know me either, and she just, she just walked right up to me and grabbed my hands. I had a minister do that too. He said the same thing. So I can't let situations and people mess with my journey, because like I said, it's a very, it's, Oh, oh, I wish I could flip and show y'all. I just missed the oyster boat. Damn it. That's hard work. Um, you know, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I'm sure that a lot happened. I mean, that place, yeah, that place is a very active place out out at 360. Um, they have, if, you, if they have events starting there again, y'all will have to go. But I don't know. You know, it's just the whole thing, looking back at stuff and thinking about spirit world and spirit guides and angels. It just amazes me how you how you're shown something and then you end up looking back at it and you are like, hmm, well, gosh, did I really want to be in that type of situation anyway? You know, you kind of look at people, you didn't see something in a person before, and then you kind of look at them and you're like, mm. <laughs> So I just think it's, I don't know, it's just funny, but the lady was the, the most weirdest thing. And like I said, I haven't seen her since. And I've been by there at the same time. Like I said, don't, don't know her. You know, I got up this morning. I didn't even, when I was, I was actually doing a meditation because I do a lot of sound therapy and I need to do sound therapy right now with some things going on. So I was doing some sound therapy and these came in to play that I need to wear them today. And I know that these are very, very protective. That's what I put on my, you know, Facebook page earlier. Um, red is very, is something that's very protective, but it also stands for growth, prosperity, um, spirituality, healing, all kinds of things. And um the card that I pulled because I pull cards in the morning those cards that I pulled matched up with the current situation of what was going on and then of course every time I get woken up by something I'm looking at my clock 
and I document the time. That's why I put 325 down there. There was a reason why I did it. Um, Archangel Raphael kept stepping out, and he's the healing angel. So it's, it's everything just falls into place, and it's just wild to me how the, yeah, staying grounded, that's one thing I have to do. That's what this does. It helps you stay grounded, too. And I forgot I had them, but it was like a picture came here. And it's like, you need to go get those. That's how it works for me. I can't, I can't, I don't know how it works for other people, but all my pictures come here. It's, it's like, it's like they're showing me something. Well, since you asked this about this person, let me show you how they really are. It's, it's like that. And then a picture will come here and then I'm like, oh shit. And it's true. <laughs> it's the truth. You know, and I'm like, oh damn. So, but it has taken years to get there. Um, for people that are just now starting out, a lot of it, I had to do a whole lifestyle change, believe it or not. I had to, I had to, I have to eat differently than some people do because I have to keep that clear. If I get sugar in my system, I did have some frosting the other day. Damn it. I was there for the frosting. I shouldn't have had it, but I just, I gave in to temptation. So now I got to start over again. But anyway... It tightens my head is what it does. It's like instantly and then it cuts stuff off. It like cuts that gift off. So there's, I've had to make a lot of changes, Eat, you know, eating more leafy greens, trying to, I take a thing, I take a supplement called um, greens. It's something that I have. If I can't get my green vegetables in that I powder, I put powder and water, I'll get my vegetables in, but it also removes heavy metal toxins. You know, I make sure to just try to eat as clean as I possibly can because that is what helps you with third eye. And like Dr. White said the other day when we was on the podcast, if y'all haven't watched it, go back and watch it because that's what we were talking about was universe and third eye. Hey, yeah, sugar tightens my belt too. And I, I mean, I've lost quite a bit of weight here within the last couple months. Um, and sugar, sugar is a big part of that, that weight. And it doesn't necessarily have to be alcohol, you know, and, um, you know, because I know some friends that quit drinking or don't drink because of the alcohol, you know, the sugar that's in the alcohol, but the foods, I mean, you know, so anyway, lifestyle change and eating differently has played a big part in, um, you know, why I have to, yeah, that was a pretty good show. She was very informative. Um, lifestyle changes, eating differently and drinking lots of water. I do drink lemon water in the morning time because that helps me to stay alkaline. I do take my vitamin D first thing in the morning. And what I like about the vitamin D is that it has the K2 in it. So it's, I'm going to absorb all that. Um, I think my vitamin D levels are right at 70 which is really good because that's where they're supposed to be anyway, 70 and above. So I do take a powdered form that does that. And I've just had to cut out a lot of things, bread, sweets, grains. If I eat certain things, I just, I can't do it. And my head tightens up instantly. Um, and since I got that issue on this side of my head, which I think that has to do with the, um, I think, I honestly think it has to do with the C1 or C2 vertebrae because that's out that gets pulled out of my neck sometimes so I think it has something to do with that and that's why I got that that's why I'm wearing that today because I got that spot right here that feels like there's a hole in my head even though there's not a hole there but that's what it feels like so um you know but in talking a third in talking of getting in touch with gotta look out for snakes in talking in terms of damn there's shit everywhere down here sorry but let me show you where I'm at so you'll understand why I'm saying there's shit everywhere oh, I'm down here <laughs> there's normal little snake that hangs out here but normally in terms of third eye diet plays a big part in it um, leafy greens and believe it or not getting plenty of sleep because when you don't get that sleep it kind of messes it messes with that pineal gland of yours and you know, it just messes it up. So that's what I meant in terms of that, you know. Um, but at nighttime, I mean, I look forward to going to bed because then I just close my eyes and it's nice and sunny out now. Damn, it's about time. Um, I just kind of close my eyes and 
um, you know, look here, look up here. And I just kind of close them and I'm focusing right there. And it takes a while. You know, it'll take about maybe five or ten minutes. And then once you get good and focused there, then you'll start to see all kinds of stuff come into that third eye. And I wonder, I'm wondering if, I know some, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the, the peanut butter crackers were really good. Those were gluten-free. That was a nice snack. Um, yeah, that's a little bit high tide. I don't want to get my feet wet. And I don't want to drop my phone in the water. That would suck to high heaven um, if I drop my phone in here. Um, but anyway, so anyway, it like if you sit and focus here and stuff, it'll start to, pictures will start to appear here, but you got to have your eyes closed. And then, you know, stuff will start to appear. Color. A lot of people see color. I'll see colors. Or people appear here. Spirit appears here. So, you know, that's some of the third eye training stuff. Um, and there's also sound, you know, vibrational sound. That'll help you too. Um, and I'm totally getting off subject with things. But sound, vibrational therapy sounds, energy sounds. That's what we talked about the other day on the show, on the um podcast we talked about damn I don't want to fall <laughs> okay we talked about um different sound therapies and different sound variations heal different things so like in the morning time when I get up I'll put on my earbuds and I'll listen to sound therapy because that helps out a lot but I like 782 megahertz I know or hertz I know that Dr. White said I think it was 288 when you're starting out I like the 780 I think it's 784. I don't know. I don't know why it work, why one one works. I guess you got to figure out what works for you. You know, these are just things that have worked for me, but it's taken years and years upon years, particularly with the third eye thing. It wasn't always like that. Um, and I think Reiki in twice a day helps out quite a bit with that because that's the exchange of energy. So I think that that is one of the things, I mean, I will, I tell people when they come to me for Reiki, lay your hand over your eyes, you know, because, you know, we're on devices a lot, we're on computers a lot, and that zaps your third eye too. And I did order those blue light, those blue light glasses she was talking about, so I got those coming because I am on a computer a lot, and I am on my phone a lot, um, you know, because I'm always talking to to people about what I'm talking to y'all now. I mean, I get a lot of messages behind the scenes of questions, but I, I don't know. You know, I don't have an answer for why it works for one and not the other. I can just explain what works for me. I'm always open to other people telling me what works for them because I like to try different things. I mean, that's the spiritual journey too is you don't, you don't pick it up one day, and I've said it several times, you, you don't pick it up one day and say, okay, I'm going to do this, then put it down for a few days or leave it alone for a couple weeks. You know, it's something every single solitary day. It's, it's, and the more you do it, the stronger it gets, and you do got to figure out what works for you. I know friends that the sound therapy doesn't work for them. Ooh. See those little, oh, y'all didn't see it, damn it. There's two little birds that just flew in. The sound therapy, or the vibrational therapy for sound, that doesn't work for them. However, guided meditations do. So everybody is different. I know some people that can totally sit in silence and sit in silence for hours. Okay, Ms. Reyes can only sit in silence for about a good 10 minutes. <laughs> And that's about as much sit in silence as you're going to get from me. I guess I haven't tried to expand on that yet. But, you know, I don't know. You know, um, fluorite, for instance, when I was really upset the other day, oh, my God, I grabbed the piece of fluorite because for some reason that particular crystal clears everything. So, um, and that another person may not like fluorite. You know, some people like amethyst. Some people don't. Um, I've had friends, if I get a headache, I'll lay amethyst up there. But I know people that wouldn't do that. So it, it, everything is different for... These little birds must have a damn nest up in this place. They're probably mad at me because I came in here and sat down. But I think... I think
think they got a nest somewhere. Um, but anyway, like I said, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, making associations with people. You know, I have a hard time with um, stainless steel, nickel, and things like that because when I put that on, I can taste it. And then if I use that long enough, like I had this coffee cup. I don't know if some of y'all remember. Some of y'all are new to knowing me, but last year and the year before, I had an unknown rash that I broke out with and it came all down my face. It was all down my face and it went right about here and it was horrible and it only stayed right there. And that's when I, that's when I, you know, I had to go to the doctor and they couldn't figure it out, but they ended up giving me prednisone, which I don't like to take stuff like that, but I ended up having to take that and it cleared whatever that was up. But I associated it with a, um, a mug, you know, the coffee stuff that you, you know, the coffee mugs that you drink from the metals. And I got that specific one at Walmart, but whatever that metal was over time, it, broke me out so I finally figured out what it was um my sister she gave me a real pretty bracelet for Christmas and it has an angel wing on it but over time I was wearing it every day but over time I started to get this metal taste in my mouth and then here started coming these bumps and so I pulled that off and as soon as I pulled that off within a day they were cleared up you know so everybody Everybody reacts to things differently, I suppose, and you're right. What works for one person doesn't work for anybody else or everybody else. Oh, little bird. Oh, she's pissed off. It's one of those little water birds. I don't know the name of them, but damn, she's making an heirloom for me. Hopefully, she don't try to bash me in the head, and <laughs> I dropped my phone. I'm going to let me flip it and see. I don't know where she went. <laughs> oh, there she is. Look. You see them? They bird. Aren't they cute? <laughs> so I don't know you know but if y'all have any ideas on what works for you please feel free to you know reach out to me and my back's starting to hurt sitting here it's funny I can stand in the woods for hours and do EVPs but try to get me on a little wooden platform to sit my ass down and then that fracture starts to say you need to get up <laughs> and walk around but you know I'm always open to people's people's ideas you know, and what, and some of the things that works for them, because I like to try that kind of, I like to try their ideas, you know, um, what I don't like is phony people, <laughs> that's one thing I don't like, because I have met a few people in my time, and I'm sure that some of my friends that are on here that are super sensitive, and that do paranormal investigations, and things like that, there's always that one person that has to make a name for themselves, and uh, that's something I don't deal with very well. Um, so, but that's pretty much it. I think I got my exercise in for the day. Wait. Don't you think? If I walked that about a good 15 more times, I bet you that butt back here would be stacked. Because when I lost weight, I'm losing my junk in my trunk too. So I'm going to have to do some squats but I can't do no 700 of them things <laughs> like Julie I can so anyway didn't want to ramble on but wanted to you know share my experience with thing that went to something else share that experience with what I've been going through when it comes to me asking my spirit guides to show me the truth about things and you know the experience with that so which was pretty cool yes I get many films in my third eye um, when I close my eyes for a period of time I get a lot of see I'm out of breath already and and I ride my bike every damn day um, yeah I know phonies but I do get it in my third eye. So sometimes it's a film. Sometimes it's just a picture. You know, and sometimes it's go to that or go to this or go look here. You know, I get that. So, yeah, I get the mini films in there. I've been, when I've been to Yorktown, um, quite often when I'm there, I will get uh, a flashback of a piece of history that occurred there. And it's like a film. And, 
the biggest thing I'm trying to focus on right now is when I see scrolls and numbers in my third eye. That's the biggest thing I'm trying to focus on because I can't read what the scroll says and I want to know what it says and it's gold and white lettering and I want to know what it says and I can't see it. You know, I can see that it's a scroll and it scrolls real fast, like real, real fast, but I can't see what it's writing and I'm like, can you slow down so I can see what you're writing there? That's, that's what I'm focusing on right now because I keep seeing that and I'm like, damn, what does that mean? You know, so that's, that's something that I'm looking at, you know, and that can be pretty, that can be pretty interesting to the scrolls and numbers. I don't know how many of y'all have ever seen scrolls and numbers in your third eye. Anybody out there in live Facebook world, a slideshow? Yeah. Yeah. That third eye is amazing. Yeah. It may be a spirit guide or a visiting. I know I got a warning Saturday. That's when everything started to go from there was Saturday. But, you know, like I said, I'm the type of person, and I'm sure it's like everybody else, you want to know the truth about different things, you know, different things that are going on in your life. I don't like the stagnant, flip-floppy shit. Um, so, you, that's where everything began, really, was, yeah, this, this Friday, well, Saturday mostly, because that's when my little medicine woman Indian guide stepped out, you know. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I do know that my cousin Lisa sent me, um, you know, because I don't think I told y'all that. I kept, I keep seeing Indian stuff and I keep resonating towards Indian stuff. And I didn't know why. That came out in my past life regression therapy session. And my cousin is, her name's Lisa. She's out in North Carolina. She, she's our historian so she's a historian and she does all the family tree stuff and she sent me something she said I don't know if you realize I've been doing research but you're on a direct descendant of Pocahontas and she sent me the whole family lineage and that just right there you know down to these um, that right there just opened up that whole door as to why certain things were resonating with me, why I liked doing certain things that was Indian related, and now just knowing that, that I'm a descendant of that is really cool. So, I am going to be at Evergreen on Saturday. I am going to bring the two boys with me. Um, I hope that the weather permits. I mean, we're going to, we got ponchos anyway. But, um, yeah, John, I plan to be over at Evergreen on Saturday. I'll bring my bug spray. And I got my mosquito bracelet. So, yeah, I do plan to come with the two boys. They've been looking forward to it. Um, you know, so um, you're going to be there Saturday, I suppose. I'm assuming that you are. Well, yeah, you just said hope to see you. So, I think we all have a ho I think, don't take this the wrong way because I, I do have some female friends. I hope I'm not saying this wrongly, but I used to rather work with, I would rather work with 50 men than work with 50 women any day. Because 50 women, when you're, you know, they can be some conniving ones. <laughs> women can be conniving. So yeah, I, yeah, I get you on that. Yep. I'd rather work with men. No offense to my women friends. I hope y'all don't get mad at me. You're bring it. You're bringing your what? Snake killer? Okay. Yeah, um, the boys are really excited about it. Um, I don't think no. I don't think on your question about third eye. I don't think third eye is a. I know that like when it comes to seeing spirit and things like that. I know that it is mostly in the female part side of the family, and but third eye anybody can access. You know. Um, Anybody can access third eye. I don't think that it's... Are you talking about maybe finding your family in third eye? I have seen family in third eye. 
I, I don't, you know, I mean, everybody has that ability when it comes to third eye. You just have to practice it. And like we were talking about in that podcast, if it's calcified, you're going to have a hard time trying to scroll and not cut people off. You're going to have a hard time seeing it. You know what, I, John, I'm going to bring my, um, I'm going to bring my stuff that, that, um, my moose stuff, my clear stuff, and I'm going to, I'll let you use some of that. You ain't going to get no poison ivy with that because it won't penetrate that. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to get that. I'm going to bring that Saturday. So then, you know, if you want to use some, you're more than welcome to use it because um, I'm going to coat my arms and everything. I ain't getting none of that stuff. And Victor had a touch of poison ivy already, so we don't need to get it again. Well, uh, she... Yeah, Sherry, it's funny because I didn't realize that I had Indian in my family. That's just, that's why it's so fascinating to me. I didn't realize it was there. I just, I just didn't realize. And then when she sent me that lineage, I just about fell out my chair because I couldn't, you know, I couldn't believe that. that I mean, it just answered everything. But when I did that past life regression therapy session, oh, look, y'all, what's coming across the bridge? Y'all see them? Now. I'm changing the subject. See them? Campers! <laughs> I'm halfway tempted to go stand at the market and take pictures of all the license plate of people that are going to be in our store wiping it out this weekend. Just saying. Anyway. Oh, yeah. I. You know what? It's funny you're talking about the bamboo sticks because Vicente and his friend are working in a bamboo forest as we speak. They're building a fort, so I'll have them bring me back two or three. I'll have them bring me back a couple so we can smack snakes with them if we see any. <laughs> but anyway, back to the Native American part, I didn't, I didn't know we had that in our family, you know, so... Like I said, the past life regression therapy session opened up a huge door because it allowed me to just get more in touch with me and to understand me better. Not that I didn't understand me before, but it never hurts to learn and grow. You know, that's the purpose of life is, is teaching others and growing, you know. <laughs> Yeah, you, you might have to play some ACDC on Saturday. Hopefully the weather will permit because from what I'm seeing, it ain't supposed to be so pretty. And I hope not because the boys have actually been looking forward to it for months. So, yeah, Ozzy. Yeah, Ozzy's good too. I like Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> I got some of his stuff downloaded on my phone. But hopefully everything will permit. I got emergency, what do you call them? I don't know what's on my maternal side. I got to go back and look at some things. Honestly, my mom is, you know, my mom is German. My dad was from the backwoods of Shelby, North Carolina. So I, you know, I don't, I don't really know that much history. Like I said, my cousin is the historian. She does all the work. I really need to go, like she keeps telling me, what's that site called? Ancestry. She keeps telling me I need to do that, which I really should. Um, but she does all the work, and she has the patience for that. So, you know, hopefully, she's given me a lot of information about stuff that I didn't realize. But like I said, the past life regression therapy session helped out quite a bit, and I, and that's and it opens up a door as to when I go certain places, why I see Indian spirit, why they show themselves to me. I don't know if there was. I don't. I don't know if there was an Indian on the paternal side or not. All I know is that I was a direct descendant of Pocahontas, and she gave me the list of the lineage. You know, so um, I don't know. It's something that I'm sure she would be able to answer that question. But I've just always been drawn to that. But like I said, the past life regression therapy session, that really helped out a lot because it, it helped to answer a lot of questions that I had. You know, and I'm going to end up doing another one, just not right now, because I would like to go a little deeper than what I went, you know, um, on this first one. So, and that's the other thing you can, you can connect to your past life, your past lives too, if you just ask, 
these birds if you just ask there was a little bird there and now it just flew away it's so pretty out you know but um if you just ask you can connect that way too so yeah somebody told me to do that 23 and me too but i think didn't one of my friends told me that the 23 that the ancestry one is a little bit more detailed i'm not sure because i haven't done either one of them i know that one time i went on a site and i don't remember the site um but they my whole family tree was there i mean everything was there so yeah being on the water enhances a lot of stuff too yeah because i get that nice flow of energy coming that's why i constantly keep my door open you know windows at the house open i'm at my second house my other house is my house is that way this is my second second home i have my own room <laughs> i'm spoiled <laughs> but um yeah being on the water is nice too because you know you get that energy field off of that as well so it does enhance quite a bit of stuff um and it's very relaxing because i can sit down on that pier and just close just keep my eyes closed for a little bit you know and connect that way and a lot of people don't have those advantages but even when I even when I didn't there was one place that I lived at it wasn't on the water it was right off of a major highway and that place was haunted really haunted so it was kind of hard for me to make the connections there yeah it's a it's a beautiful place to be um, you know because I like I've said before not to change the subject I can drive I don't even have to drive anywhere I can walk into town um, and get everything I need there so I don't ever have to leave technically John John Stevens you've been here you've been to my house I mean you've been when you go on your rides with Donna it's you know he knows he shit he's in walking distance from the store until they move <laughs> then once she once they move yes it's gonna have to drive to the market and you're not gonna be able to go bike riding <laughs> so anyway I have um, two teenage boys in my house right now let's go walk over and see what the little crumb snatchers are doing I'll give you all a view while I'm doing that and hopefully I don't bust my house these kids are supposed to be cooking me dinner because I went on cooking strike and I told them that I was not cooking today so they have went to the store and picked up some cooking supplies. I'll show y'all the roses real slow as I walk by. Some of these are starting to die off. Um, so I, pretty, I have put them in charge of dinner and I don't know what the crumb snatchers are gonna be making. I don't know what these are, but they're pretty. Um, I don't know what the crumb snatchers are gonna be making me for dinner, but I told them that I was not cooking and that was part of nerd that was part of it that's the other one see that's where I'm at um I don't know what they're going to be cooking for me they said it was a surprise do you think I'll live through it I'm not sure <laughs> they said it was a surprise y'all so let me see I know my the house isn't burned down so I'm assuming that it's okay <laughs> I'll go back to the other house later as you can see bikes all over the place we need to get a bike rack I hear them I smell something y'all oh hell uh -oh. what the hell they're doing let's look what's that burning smell it's noodles uh -huh. no hey it's a secret what we're making so okay. Hey, y'all know how to cook noodles, right? Hey, we already cooked this. Check what's in the oven, Mr. Ted. You haven't checked the oven today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're doing good. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh huh. Y'all. <laughs> there it is. I hope I live through this dinner. Let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you what they did. They have them took my broccoli. 
Let me go over here so they can't hit me. <laughs> they have done took broccoli. <sighs> because they've done take my broccoli and stuck it on my pan. <laughs> It's a pan with a holes in it, trying to roast the broccoli. Um, oh my god. The noodles. The noodles are gluten free. I wonder if them little crumb snatchers are going to try to make my world famous chicken parmesan alfredo. I bet you Vicente is going to... I know that he's going to try to do that. Yes, they are pasty. There was noodles sticking to the pan, to the little thingy. Oh my god. <laughs> Listen, uh, if I eat this and y'all don't hear from me, <laughs> y'all know the deal, right? I don't know what the hell they done burned up in there. <laughs> I mean, I trust them because I know little Elliot likes to cook. I don't know what the hell they done made up in there. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to see. I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to stay out of the house until. I am enjoying them. I just think it's funny as hell. I, I'm supposed to stay out the house until they're done doing their little cooking. Thank God I went in there and checked on them at least because, you know, that burning smell was, I can still smell it. <laughs> exactly. It smells like rotten butt cheeks right now. <laughs> but that's just, that's hilarious. But I guess it's a thought that counts, but I just have to laugh at how they situated my broccoli <laughs> because normally I would have put that in a glass pan and cooked it that way y'all know that's why I'm smelling the burning cessation I just figured it out because they've done taken a broccoli stuck it on you know those little pizza pans with the holes in them and because it was frozen broccoli the water dripped I guess on the little burner thing and that's why you can smell it so that's funny but I don't know they're a trip they didn't um, I guess they'll be okay over there. They got to learn how to cook. <laughs> I don't want them thinking that it's a woman's job to do everything. So that's why they're over there doing that now. Yep, they do have to learn. Victor is making breakfast for me in the mornings. I'm not doing the breakfast anymore because they just get to an age. They need to do this stuff themselves. You're right. So um, I just think it's cute what they're over there doing. Yeah, that's good that both of them cook. That's really good. I mean, Vicente and Victor, since from an early age, I had them doing things like their own laundry and stuff like that. I didn't do their laundry. They did it. Um, I can remember Victor being really small and carrying his laundry basket downstairs. So they've always been doing that. But as they got older, I, you know, of course, let them cook. Yeah. The cleaning part, you're right. I know Victor's room is a hot mess. All I have to do is tell Victor his grandma's coming and then he'll clean the room up. I'll be like, your Omi's coming because he knows that the first thing his grandma does will walk in his room and say, hmm, and she'll look around. So I, I tell him his grandma's coming and then he'll clean up his room. But lately she hasn't came, so that's been a little bit of a struggle. So, you know, but anyway, I'm going to go because I want to keep track of my kitchen <laughs> or at least go sit at my table and smell the burning sensations coming from the burner and uh they're okay um I hope I didn't go too much off subject it is nice outside so I hope y'all are enjoying the breeze it's pretty too I love the sound of that see the birds are flying statue is cute i hope y'all are enjoying the day and hopefully sherry everything is going to be nice on saturday like i said i'm bringing the boys with me so i'm not going to be alone i'm going to be with the kids so um that's going to help out a lot so we'll probably make a day of stuff and uh go from there because like i said they've been looking forward to it so hopefully saturday is going to be a nice day and uh, to be able to do that. So, anyway, oh, y'all, this coming up Tuesday on Vibe Time with Jerry, Haunted MD is going to be on the podcast uh, this coming up Tuesday. So, y'all, please be on the lookout for that. I'll be posting a flyer on that tomorrow. But, um, 
y'all just keep that in mind. Haunted MD will be on there, and we're going to be discussing. Look, this is just so bizarre. You see how I find shit in random spots? Anything I find like that? Now, let me just say that <laughs> I just walked this driveway. Just walked it. Didn't see anything. It's just bizarre. But you see? <laughs> um, yeah, Dr. Don, he's going to be on there. He's going to be on there Tuesday, so we're going to be discussing paranormal and medical, because that's going to be interesting, really. Yeah, he is. He's really cool. See what I get to deal with? That's going to be really cool. Okay. Have fun cleaning. Yeah, he's a, he's a, I have not met him in person. We've kind of just exchanged messages back and forth but i'm looking really forward to him being on my show tuesday um and i think it's going to be a really good show so y'all tune into that you know it's 8 30 eastern standard time and if you don't get a chance to watch it don't be upset all you do is go back and re-click on the link that we re-click on the link the vibe time with jerry link and it comes right up all you got to do is click on it and then push play so yeah i'm looking forward to his story and looking forward to the differences on a, I guess, a medical doctor's standpoint, because they are so scientific. I hope you don't get upset with me for saying that, but my stepdad's a pediatrician, so I think I'm okay saying that because he's very, he's a very scientific person too. So, um, yeah, that's going to be pretty cool. Uh oh, I got people wondering where mommy is. So anyway. Tune into that vibe time, and of course, you know, the freaks from the freaking awesome show are going to be on um, at 9 30 because their show comes right after mine. So, anyway, now that I've talked y'all to death, I'm going to go back in here because I heard, Where's your mom? I'm going to go back in here and see what's going on. So, yeah, he's a he's really nice, you know, from what from what we've exchanged as far as messaging. So, I'm looking forward to that. But anyway, John, I'll see you Saturday. Sherry, I'll see you Saturday. And like I said, you'll be able to meet my boys because they're going to be with me. And um, I hope that y'all have a great day and enjoy the rest of the afternoon because it's really nice. Yes, thank you. I'll see you Saturday if you're flying solo. I'll be flying with the two boys. You know, so um, I'll see you then. Looking forward to it. Thanks. And I hope that y'all have a great day. And if anything else steps out on the spirit side, I'll do another Facebook Live. So far, I just got her kind of standing off to the distance. <laughs> All right, y'all. Have a great day.